Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearman Studios, and I thought it's about time for me to show you guys the GUI window. Um, it's a pretty cool thing, so I'm going to start in a new scene, and inside of my script, so I'm going to create a uh, new script called GUI underscore window, and open that guy up. So here in the GUI window, I'm going to first delete out all this stuff. I don't need it. Okay. So the first thing that I want to make is a public rectangle, of course, for the window's uh, position and width and height. So, so a public uh, rect, uh, let's just call it uh, window size, that's fine, equals new rect, let's do 15, 15, 250, and 250. And then let's do our, uh, our on GUI function, so private void on GUI and let me scroll this up there we go so instead of our on gui function we're going to create our window so we can do this by um, doing a gui window which is just gui dot window and you can see this thing takes in an id a client rect um, a function which is the window function that uh, we'll be executing and uh, so on and so forth. So I'm going to start off by putting zero in the ID. You want different IDs for each window that you make so you might want to make that a variable um, but I'm going to make it zero. Um, then again you might also want to hard code it if uh, you know all of your window numbers and they're not dynamic. And the last thing that it needs is a Windows f uh, window function, which I do not have. So before I finish, I'm going to go down here and create a window function. So private void. I'm just going to call it uh, my window. And it needs to have an int, and it needs, uh, we'll just call that ID. That's the window ID that's being passed in. So uh, what we'll do is we'll take this my window, paste it at the end, and uh, close that off there. So inside of my window, I can draw stuff now. I can say uh, g gui dot gui dot button. Um, let's do a new rect. Let's make this fifteen fifteen uh, fifty and fifty, and let's make it say btn. So now I'm going to save that out. Go back to Unity. And I'm going to drag my script. Oh wait, I have a error. I forgot something. Um, let's see. There's a few different ones. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the last thing that I need is the name of the window. So I have the uh, my window as the title of this window, and now if I save out and go back, uh, recompile, it'll delete that error, and I'll drag GUI window onto my camera because that's the only object I seem to have in my scene. If I press play, you'll see that I have my window and button. Now, what you notice about this is that the button is not at this. I put 1515, which is the same as the window is 1515. But if I were to change this uh, windows rectangle, which I can change now in the inspector here, to let's say 150 on the X and uh, let's do 75 on the Y, you're going to see that that button stays in its position. Because its new rectangle inside of this function is relative to the window. So if I were to make this 0, 0, it would go to the top left of the window. You can see now it's at the top left of the window. You can also get the window size uh, from here, obviously. Um, so if I wanted to make this more dynamic, I could take the window size dot width multiplied by 0 0.5, which is half if you remember, and the window size dot height multiplied by 0 0.5f. Um, and now the top left corner of this button will be in the center of my window. Uh, it just looks kind of off-center here. Let's uh, subtract 25 on each of these. <clears throat> there we go. 
There we go. Now it's dead center. As you can see, I have a dead center button inside of my window. Now, before I finish this series uh, or this video on the my, the window, I'm going to show you how you can make this thing draggable. So, what we can do is right here we have window size. Uh, what we need to do is do uh, instead of uh, window, we can do drag window, and we can set our window size equal to the drag window. If I recall correctly, I believe that's all we need to do. So, hmm, maybe let's let's test it. I haven't done this in a while. No, that's wrong. Okay. So what we need to do? Oh wait, let me double check. Okay. Yeah, what we need to do is make this GUI dot window, and down here inside of the window at the very bottom of the function, we're going to do GUI dot drag window with no parameters, just by itself. Hit play. And now you'll see we'll be able to drag this window around and place it wherever we want. So, and the button obviously moves along with the window. So that's how you make windows and place things inside of them and how they're relative. Uh, with this, it's about time for me to show you the layouts and how to get things nice and neat and awesome without having to place every single rectangle. Um, some of you are probably going to be upset that I didn't go over this earlier uh, because you may have to uh, redo stuff if you've been working on it. So I hope you don't have to redo too much stuff. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and make that video now so uh, you're not waiting for days for it. So uh, until next time, uh, thanks for watching.